hey you guys welcome back to my channel my name is alexis if it's your first time here in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys how i meal prep meal prepping is something that i'm trying to become very consistent with because it's just literally so much easier during the week to be able to manage life when your food is already ready you know you just don't overeat you don't eat bad foods when you have food prepared in advance so i've been trying to i said this week i'm gonna make myself meal prep and i wanted to bring you guys along with my journey to show you guys what i'm pro meal prepping and all of the goods so stick around stay tuned subscribe to this channel because i'm going to show you everything that i will be eating for this five day week so i already defrosted some of the stuff that i want to eat this week so i have some alaskan cod here some ground turkey some shrimp and some salmon then a pack of swipers. I'm gonna start off cooking this because I feel like we can have this for lunch. I'm gonna mostly be throwing everything in the air fryer so you'll see me use the air fryer mostly. All right, so let's get started. So first I'm gonna start with everything I'll be eating for lunch this week. So I'm gonna take the spy fish and we're gonna cook that first. I'm just gonna start off by taking that out of the little bags that it comes in and then rinsing it off and getting it prepped for seasoning so that we can start to prepare for the air fryer. You're going to see me using a lot of the same seasonings. I'll change them up later, but mostly I like to do salt, of course, on everything, just a little bit. And then I'll go in with like some Cajun seasoning, some Old Bay, things like that. Some garlic salt sometimes or powder or some onion salt or powder. Uh, sometimes I like to just kind of mix it up to make sure that I'm kind of giving it a different taste. So. Um, you'll see me season this one way and then later I'm like seasoning another piece of fish completely differently. I just think the general rule of thumb is, is just say season to taste because this is something that you're going to be eating throughout the week. I think that um, try to get things that are like salt free. I do have a seasoning that I'm like using right now that's salt free and it's actually really good. It's by McCormick I believe. It's so good. It's an onion seasoning. I swear every time I use this it's like you can't even tell that there is like less salt in your food because of you know this seasoning but yeah I mean season to taste is like the best way to put it so now we're ready to lay these in the air fryer I'm just gonna grab some parchment paper I love the parchment paper that gives you like the sheets because it's easier to just like not have to tear them off you can just like pull off a sheet and then put it in your air fryer I like to try to keep the air fryer as clean as possible even though it's kind of hard because things seep through the parchment paper but I do my best anyway we're gonna go in and add the fish to the air fryer I'm able to put in about like I think five pieces in here so I'm not able to get every single piece but that's okay because I only put the fish on about 10 minutes. I don't like to overcook my fish. I try to make sure of that because you have to pop this back in the microwave later. So I think just be thoughtful of how long you put it in there. You don't want it like all the way cooked. Like I even like it to be like almost medium because or medium rare because once you cook it, fish cooks really fast. So once you like throw it in the microwave later in the week, it's going to finish cooking and you don't want it to be dry. So that's like my best recommendation to you about fish. You're probably saying like, wow, she has a lot of like fish, seafood and um, turkey. Yeah, lately I have not been feeling like eating chicken. I'm just kind of like over it. So that's why you see I'm only doing seafood and turkey right now. Eventually I'll circle back to chicken. I mean, I have to, it may be next week. It's just from time to time I get in this like mode where I just don't have a taste for chicken. So I will not cook it. <laughs> anyway, right now what I'm doing is just just laying the extra pieces of fish to the side because now I'm about to go in and season the Alaskan cod y'all if you see this bag do not buy it this was my first and last time buying this because literally they only put two pieces inside of the bag like I could have just bought a fresh filet and 
gotten my money's worth because I probably paid about the same price for these little two freaking pieces. I will never do that again, lesson learned. But all I'm gonna do is just cut them out, rinse them off like normal, and then season them as well. When I tell you after like cooking these, they shrivel up, it's just like the worst, you know? The worst. I never would recommend this Alaskan cod in that bag ever again <laughs> to anyone. But yeah, I'm just seasoning this cod the same way that I did the swai fish. Uh, and that's pretty much it. This one was like really simple because the pieces are like so small. And this was like only one meal's worth of food. Oh, I forgot to mention, and I think I didn't even show it, but that little spray, that yellow spray that you see, that's like a garlic olive oil spray. It's so great for seasoning meats, fish, seafood, turkey. I love putting it on everything, and I believe it's zero calories, zero carbs, so it's a great option for you. But now we're gonna jump right into cooking the sides because we don't wanna forget about those. I'm gonna start off by cooking green beans. Now, look, everybody has their own preference, but this just works for me because I try to move fast and get through this, but I like using frozen vegetables. It just works for me, and I season them well, so you can't even tell. I know some people would prefer fresh vegetables, but I just don't have the time to like cut, peel, like all that, and I mean, these just work so anyway i you see that they're very frozen right so i'm just going to go in and add a little bit of water to this let them cook down a little bit and then i'll go in and add the seasonings and things like that So now we're gonna jump right into making the ground turkey for the week. I'm just going to rinse this off and then dump it right in the pot. And then I'll let that cook down for a little bit and then I'll begin to season the food. And just like the green beans, we're just going to pour a little bit of water into them and let them cook down and then come back and season them later. Now that the green beans have cooked down, I'm now going to season them with a little bit of salt. And then I'm going to go in with my secret ingredient, which is this sodium-free chicken broth. I love this because it adds so much flavor to the food without adding like all of the like extra liquids and you know high sodium and things like that. I put this in all of my vegetables. It just literally takes them up a notch. You can really add less seasoning after you add this because it's just so flavorful after you add this little packet and then it sits for a while. Like whatever you put with this, like your fish or your meat, it's gonna just be like taking up 10 notches with that packet. But of course me being me, I feel like I need to add a little bit more. So I'm gonna top it off with this Cajun seasoning which is pretty light. So now that the turkey meat has kind of cooked down a little bit, I'm gonna go in and add some olive oil and then add the rest of my seasonings. At this point, you can just season how you like this. I pretty much use the same thing, so that's why I'm not gonna show it here in this video. Uh, one, because my camera died at this point, but <laughs> just seasons it the way you like. You can use some of the things I used or other things. The way I like to work, I like to plate things as they are ready. So right now you see me plating the swai fish in these glass bowls that I found on Amazon. They are so great. I completely love them over Pyrex bowls because the tops on Pyrex bowls just get so bad that, you know, they're just, they just get worn over time. But these seem like they're gonna be pretty durable. That's why I went the extra mile and spent the money on them. Um, yeah, so I like to measure things out. Uh, so you're gonna see me here use this portion control spoon with the drain. I got a set of these off of Amazon and when I tell you it is so helpful to have these because it really helps you without having to weigh stuff, especially like for your vegetables, right? Like for me, I'll go back and weigh things as I eat them um, if I have time. But I know for the most part that this is a six ounce cup. So I can just go ahead and throw it in the plate and put it into my fitness pal later. Now moving on to another meal, which are these catfish fillets. 
I am seasoning right now. I just realized that it, my camera completely cut the footage of me seasoning the salmon, but that's okay because later you'll see me plate it. But uh, yeah, that was another uh, meat or protein, shall I say, that I had started on seasoning and had added it to the air fryer um, to prepare it. Um, but anyway, while we're on this, you see I'm seasoning the fish right now with dill. Oh my gosh, that's another secret ingredient for fish. Use dill on everything seafood. It is so good and it makes such a big difference. That's just a little side note because if you're not using it, I mean, my cousin put me on and ever since then, I have to season every type of seafood with dill. It's just so good. But you also see me here seasoning with that salt-free um, seasoning that I was telling you about earlier. Another so good seasoning. And then I think this is garlic powder that I'm using right now. And now I'm about to prepare my last side, which is okra. As you can see, I didn't do any like carby foods here, like rice or anything like that. Right now I'm doing a pretty strict diet of crazy, like 1200 calories. And I know it sounds insane, but I need to cut really quickly and then I'll start to add more calories on. I just have been at this crazy weight for a while now, for like almost a year after COVID. And if I don't cut down and start tracking my calories, I don't know what's going to happen to me. So I didn't include rice because, you know, I'm also trying to save that until the weekends because I know on the weekends I'm going to eat more carbs. So that's where like my carby foods will play in it. So if in the future, if you want me to do a video on like what I eat during the weekend to stay healthy and, you know, meal prep and stuff, because I do plan to meal prep for the weekends, let me know and I can kind of show you some foods that I'm eating um, that help me get through the weekend, especially if I'm just like sitting around the house, because I feel like that's when I get, I'm at my worst, right? Because I just want to snack, 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 snack. And it's just not good because the calories add up so fast. So the best thing for me to do is meal prep. If I'm normally I'm going to be in the house or just like eating before I go somewhere, just to train myself to like not overeat because that's really the biggest problem that I do have. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna start to plate the food. So as you can see, I already plated the ground turkey. I did about, uh, I think six to eight ounces of it. I forgot, I measured it, um, but I try to do around like eight ounces of meat or protein. Um, I'm okay if I go a little bit over because again, I'm not doing many like carby like foods. So I'd rather get my proteins in. Um, I can tell you right now that I'm saving the ground turkey for a Friday night where I'm going to make like a taco salad. It's just like a meal that would kind of like get me off being so healthy. Well, it'll make me think that I'm being healthy, but kind of not. Or I am. I don't know. But I'm going to save that for a taco salad on Friday. So that'll be like my last meal. But you also see me here plating the salmon and I'm kind of tasting it because I just do that. But if you look really closely, you can see that the salmon is a little bit like medium rare. This is again, I like to do this because I don't like my seafood to be dried out, you know, and as it sits and as you, you know, get ready to like prepare it again or like even if you put it in the refrigerator, it just tends to dry out. So I like to make it medium rare so that when it dries out, well, as it sits, it won't get like nasty and I not want to eat it and it just waste the food so um, if you're wondering that is why but I'm going to be pairing this with some okra uh, like I said before I pair my veg well like I said before my vegetables are about six ounces um, and if I have a little bit more then I'll top it off if there's just a little bit more in the pan but if it's a if it's like the turkey I have here I'll just plate whatever I have left for like another meal even if it's a small one maybe I can take like everything that I have and then put it all together to make uh, something if I get hungry on the weekend so that's just my thought process behind it now moving on to uh, breakfast I am absolutely obsessed with oatmeal so I went to Sam's and bought a big box of oatmeal and it's so helpful because they only give you the little boxes or cans of them at the regular grocery store but this box is humongous so it's going to last me for a while i typically go in and i add about 50 grams of oatmeal to a two cup pyrex bowl and then i'll go in and if i don't feel like standing by the microwave to wait for 
the oat milk to overflow <laughs> i will just warm up some milk and i'll put it in there this is for my husband because he's about to leave and doesn't have time so you know i just poured the hot milk in there and if you just let it sit then it'll clump together um you just have to kind of like let it sit with the top over it and then it's like good to go and perfect but i typically don't add much to this i will go in and add some sugar-free syrup which is the same skinny syrup that i use for like my matcha and that'll be like the only flavor i add to it and then for a side or protein i'll go in and add some turkey bacon i also sometimes go in and add like a few berries and strawberries but it just depends on where i'm at for my calories for the day after i track everything uh, most of the time i don't add any um, fruit um, just the turkey bacon uh, but it just kind of helps uh, fill you and then you also get your protein in in the morning just a side note, if you're looking for a big pack of turkey that's going to last you a long time, this pack that I'm showing you right now, um, I picked up from Sam's Club and it was about like $12, but it's like so many pieces in here. It's going to last a very long time. I eat about two pieces a day, me and my husband, so it's like four slices. Like This package is thick, so I'm just adding this in with some Genio turkey bacon that I had left over. So now moving on to dessert slash um, fruit. This is pretty much my last meal for the day um, that I like to have, which is watermelon. It's so great because watermelon is just so easy. You cut it up and then you weigh it when it's time to eat it. It's so refreshing and then it just tastes so good. So I'm just going to chop up this big old watermelon into a uh, like three bowls um, I picked up these bowls from Amazon um, and I'll link them down below for you of course but I love a good sweet watermelon to eat during the summertime I will say because it's a fruit you do have to watch out because of the natural sugars in it but with watermelon you know just having a few pieces get you really full so that's why I love it to have as like my last meal or like snack of the day because it literally just it's so easy and you don't have to like worry about being hungry after. And that is pretty much it for all of the meals that I like to eat. Sorry, this is not all of them because I've already put some in the fridge. Um, I also noticed that my camera cut off of me showing you other snacks that I might eat. So snacks that I eat throughout the day are carrots and also some Chimani yogurt that is like a zero lactose. It's so good or sometimes I'll eat a rice cake. So, you know, I just try to mix it up so I don't get bored, but yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful to you and that you got some good tips on things that you can eat throughout the week. I hope this was helpful. Y'all all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.